So the first thing we do is the dusting so it doesn't fall on clean surfaces later. Also, people tend to just blow it off and not dust at all, so if we do it first, we make sure it gets done. We're going to dust all the corners between the walls and the ceiling, every corner in the room, and this is something with the Webster that happens really fast. So all you have to do is whip through it. It should only take a minute or two. Okay, so that took like a minute. Now we're just going to do the vent. We're going to do the light fixture. Part of the dusting is doing on top of the windows in the door casing. What you want to do is go back and forth three times so you know you've got it. Take your finger and wipe it and test and see if there's any dust on it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we don't clean the window glass, but we do clean the frames of the windows. And usually the frame itself is not dirty except on the top where the sash, top sash meets the bottom sash. So here, so we're going to wipe it with a streak free, and if it needs a magic eraser, we'll use one. But it's real important to get the latch, all parts of the latch, the corners of the latch, move the latch to get the dirt underneath it, and we're going to open the window, and we're going to do... If there's a sill, we clean the sill. This doesn't have a sill, but it does have a really filthy part between where the window closes and the screen. So we're going to take the magic eraser and we're going to clean that first. And that does it great. And almost any time we use the magic eraser, we come back with the streak free. The streak free just gets all the dirt off. The magic eraser loosens the dirt takes a bunch off but it doesn't really get it perfect. We decided the window wasn't clean enough in here there's still dirt. So we're coming back with the vacuum. So we're going back with the streak free just around those edges just to get it perfect. Most of the time it's not this bad and it's usually dusty. This is kind of wet so it doesn't vacuum up as easy. So that got this really dirty. We're going to rinse it out right away. These things clean up great. You just put it under the water these things are really fragile, so you don't want to go crazy wringing them out. You want to be kind of careful. This isn't the streak for you to wring out however you want. You can break the magic erasers wringing them out too hard. They'll crumble. We don't clean the mini blinds because it takes forever, but we do vacuum behind them if they have cobwebs, which they usually do. Next thing we're going to do is the baseboards. Most of the time, the baseboards are not that dirty, and all you got to do is take a streak free and wipe them. And when you wipe it, you wipe the, kind of the top edge most. You want to make sure that streak free is clean or you get dirt on the wall. Okay, so cleaning the baseboards, we take a streak free. If it's really dirty, we take a magic eraser, but most of the time, you can just go over it with the streak free. You want to concentrate on the top. And it's fast. You can whip through this very quickly. Just wipe the surface on the bottom and you're done. If receptacle covers are dirty, we clean them. So generally a streak free will do it. We're also going to hit all the light switches. They usually need them. They're usually dirty. Uh, doors, they're usually dirty only right around the handles. So you only do what's, what's dirty. No reason to do the whole door. And the bottom of the panels usually gets dirty. The rest looks fine. If they're dirty, do the whole thing, but most of the time the dust just settles there. Okay, all the closet shelves, you want to make sure you wipe them down with a streak free. And when you're doing walls, make sure you do the walls in the closet as well. The walls are the hardest thing to clean. And, uh, if there is blue tape on a wall, that means we're painting it and don't bother cleaning it. So here's a mark on the wall, and the way we clean it, we don't just go any which way, because those, that arc is going to show. It's going to flash later. So you want to go horizontal back and forth. So when you do this, you wipe it in a neat rectangle. 
And you want to hold the magic eraser flat, just like he's doing with his in his hands. You don't want to bunch it up or you'll just break it up. So you just stay on that mark and go back and forth until it disappears. Now, once it's gone, you take a streak free and you go over that because now that dirt is dissipated, but it's still on the wall. You got to get it off. So cleaning the bathroom, the first thing you're going to do is shoot the Webster around to get all the dust off. If the fan's really bad, you're going to take a vacuum and vacuum out the fan. Next, we're going to spray the entire tub surround and tub sides with scrub free. It's important to get every spot with the scrub free because whatever you miss, it's not going to clean. Do not hit the faucet with the scrub free or the shower head with the scrub free. It can damage it. So let it sit for a couple of minutes, and while you're waiting, start on the sink. Use a magic eraser or just a streak free if it's not that bad. You can turn the magic eraser on its side to get into the cracks and make sure you get the back of the faucet. Always polish it with a streak free to finish. Now we're going back to the tub and uh, we're just going to go over it with a green scotch bright. You don't have to go too crazy because the uh, scrub free is supposed to do it without anything. Again, do not hit the faucet or you'll ruin it and scratch it. Don't forget to clean the underside of the soap dishes and the shelves. The grout, you know, if it's filthy, scrub it a little bit, but you're not going to get it super clean, so don't go nuts on it. We'll, we'll take bleach if it's not coming out. The way you know it's clean is you feel it with your hand, and if it's smooth, it's clean. Okay, so he's wiped down his tub, and we're going to check it out, see if it's actually clean. Looks pretty clean. Let's check this. And no, this isn't clean enough, so we're going to go over it. Because he couldn't see it. He was reaching up there, he got all the surfaces, but he didn't really get it clean. So now, we're going to hook up the hose. There's little grooves and these prongs go in the groove and then you push it in and turn it. These little prongs go in the grooves and then it turns this way, which is clockwise. You turn on the shower all the way, you put up the diverter and then there's just like a uh, kitchen faucet. Now we could come and spray this whole thing off. You have to turn the water off and spray the water out of the hose first before you remove the hose or else the valve gets stuck open and it sprays all over the place when the tenant turns on the shower. Press the hose in and turn counterclockwise to remove it. Then turn the shower on to make sure the valve is not stuck open. We're going to wipe it down with a streak free, a really wrung out streak free. It's going to get all the excess water and any dirt that's still stuck on there off. Now we're going to clean the uh, faucet and the waste and overflow. And we're just going to take a magic eraser if needed, if not just a streak free, and polish it up. Now we want to come out and do the front of the tub, the apron. And generally, magic eraser and streak free are depending just a streak free. Usually that doesn't get that dirty. Okay, so next you want to vacuum out the drawers, get all the particles out, then clean it with the streak free. Next you're going to clean the faces of all the drawers and the sides of the drawers. If you need a magic eraser, use it. Usually you don't. Make sure you do the inside and get everything left inside the uh, cabinet. Clean the top of the vanity, clean the backsplash, clean the receptacles, clean the mirror with the streak free. Now
Next, we're going to clean the toilet. We'll use a green scrubby, clean inside the hole, clean around the rim, then clean every surface of the toilet, including the hinges, the toilet seats, the tank, the base, and in between the tank and the base. The last thing you do is the floor. And you start with the magic eraser and you scrub it really well. You make sure you get all the corners, you get behind the toilet. If stuff's not coming up, you can use a green scrubby and then you finish it with the streak free.